Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a drugstore haul for you guys. I don't think I've done one of these in like a year almost. It's been such a long time, but the drugstore has came out with so many new things lately that I wanted to share them with you. So I have a little bit of everything in here, so we're going to go ahead and get started. A few things I have used before, um, just once or twice, so I will tell you if I like it or not, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with is a primer. This is by CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Primer. And they have like three different primers, I believe. This one is for dry skin. They have one for combination skin and sensitive skin, maybe. I did see three, but I got the one with dry skin. It comes in a little squeezy tube, which I do like. And I've used this primer once before, and it worked pretty good. It was pretty hydrating, so I did like that. Two foundations that I have picked up. The first one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I did a whole review on this, so if you guys have not seen it, I will link it down below. The color I got was W5.5, and there's a couple of other brands that have came out with cushion foundations. Laneige, and I think Physicians Formula has one too, but it's pretty much just a sponge with foundation saturated into it. And then it comes with a little sponge like that as well. So that is a cushion foundation. The next one that I got was the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. And this says it's a soft matte hydrating foundation. I'm not sure how that works because it says it's matte, but it's also hydrating. I have used this once before, and it's more matte than it is hydrating. And the color I got was Honey Beige, which is which is too dark for me. So I will have to get a lighter color, but I really liked this foundation if you want like a medium coverage foundation. Two eyeshadow palettes that I got, one was by CoverGirl, and this was the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. And this is a really, really pretty um, palette. This reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. It has a lot of like mauve and rosy tones. So there's what that looks like. I have not used this yet. I've only swatched it, and the swatches were okay, but I have not tried it out on my eyes. I do know that CoverGirl has two more eyeshadows, um, like, with this line. And I think they're called Naked and Golden, maybe. And this is the Roses one. So the other one's a little bit more neutral, and this is more, like, Pinky Mauve. And then the other palette I got was Revlon Not Just Nudes palette. And this is what I have on my eyes today. So let me open it up and show you. So these are pretty much like neutral colors. There are some mattes. There's like two matte shades and the other ones are shimmery. But I really like the way this went on and blended. The When I swatched it, it didn't seem too promising, but... Now that I have it on my eyes, um, I really did like it. So this is the, let's see, this is the Zero One Passionate Nudes, and they do have another one as well, which has like a purple in there and a little bit more cool tone colors. Two contour palettes that I got. One was by L'Oreal, and this is the Infallible Pro Contour. This is in the shade Light, and the reason I picked this one up was because the contour, this was the only one that was cool toned, and all the other ones looked a little bit too warm and too orange for my liking. So I got the lightest one, and that is the contour that I'm wearing today. It's not as pigmented as I would like, um, but I think if you have lighter skin, this would work good for you guys. And I have not used the highlight shade. Just going to swatch it. It's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty light. And then the next one I got was the Maybelline Master Contour, and this is in the shade Medium to Deep. And I love how this comes with a brush. Like, this seems like a pretty substantial brush. I really like that if you're um, on the go and you're just looking for something quick to apply highlighter or something with. I think that would work. But here is what this contour palette looks like. Again, this is a little bit too warm for my liking, but if you wanted to bronze your face, I think this would be good. The 
blush is a shimmery pink blush. This reminds me a little bit of like orgasm. The reason I got this palette was for the highlighter. The highlighter is absolutely gorgeous and it's super pigmented. So I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it's right there. Let's see, moving on to a few more blushes and a bronzer. I picked up these two blushes by CoverGirl. This is the True Blend blush. They come in like a little package like that. I got the medium and dark version. They're called Medium Rose and Deep Mauve. So the Medium Rose is just a rose color. These remind me of the Milani blushes because they are marbled with a lighter color. So this is really pretty. This adds a really nice sheen. I have tried this and I love this one. The next one I got is the Deep Mauve. And again, I really like this. It's a deep mauve with some lighter pink marble into it. This is really pretty. I have not worn this yet though. But I love the way these blend out. They're super easy to work with. And um, they're not so pigmented to the point where you put it on and it's hard to blend out. These really blend out beautifully. And I'm wearing the medium rose right now. So I really like that. And then the other thing I got was the CoverGirl Blend True Blend Bronzer. And it's just in the bronze shade. They only had one bronzer that I saw, so this is the one I got. This is um, not matte. This has a little bit of sheen to it, so keep that in mind if you are wanting to bronze with it. If you're looking for a matte one, this one is not it. But it's a really pretty deep golden bronze, so I think this will be perfect for summertime. All right, a face powder that I got. This is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And I'm sure everyone is excited about this because I think this is, other than e.l.f., um, there's not a lot of loose powders out there. And it's a fraction of the price if you use, like, the Laura Mercier loose powder, like their translucent powder. But I have used this, and this does... I've tried to bake with this, and this does leave a white cast behind, which I did not like. I've just lightly dusted it over my makeup today, and it was okay, but nothing special in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's what I thought about this um, powder. Two brow products I got are from Maybelline, and I got one that says it's the Brow Define and Fill Duo. It comes in a little package like this. The color I got was deep brown. And this is what I used today to fill in my brows. And I absolutely love this. It comes with a little pencil on one side. And then on the other side, it comes with like a little sponge that has some of the color on there. So if you want to like, if you guys can see it right there, this is perfect if you have areas that you need to fill in that are sparse, but you don't want it to look too harsh. This is perfect where it fades it in and it doesn't look like you penciled anything in. This works really good. And then I use the pencil part to outline my brows just to get the shape that I want. So I really like that one. And then the next one I got is the brow pencil. Um, it's called Brow Precise. Again, by Maybelline in Deep Brown. And this is good because it comes with a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other side. The pencil I didn't really care for because you have to sharpen it. And although it is waxy consistency, which works really good if you're filling in your brows because it kind of melts into your skin without looking so harsh, I don't like the fact that you have to um, sharpen it. I wish it was retractable, but this is another option if you guys are looking for something with a spoolie on the end. I picked up this mascara. I don't know if this is new to the drugstore or not, but I hadn't seen it before, so I just grabbed it. This is by Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational Luscious Lashes, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I just got it in the regular black color. And let me show you what the brush looks like. The formula is really wet, so it's kind of hard to work with, but...
So that's what the brush looks like. It just looks like plastic bristles. They're pretty short. They're not long. So it was okay. It wasn't anything great. I like my L'Oreal telescopic mascara better, but this was okay. I picked up this Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. Again, not sure if this is new, but I hadn't seen it before. And I love this. This dries really matte. And I really like that about this eyeliner. It's easy to work with. It just comes in like a little bottle like that. And the applicator is easy too. It's pretty short and it looks like a sponge applicator. So if you're not used to doing eyeliner, then this would be perfect. It's really easy to control and it dries matte. This is just in the regular black color. All right, so the last few things I wanna talk about are lip products. I picked up some of these Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lippies, and I have this color on right now, which is, I don't know what it is. I don't know where it says the name. I don't know if I ripped it off or what. Okay, so I can't find the names on here. I don't know if I ripped the sticker off that was on it, but it's nowhere on here. But I got the nude one, and they say this is matte, but it doesn't dry down completely. It's kind of like a creamy matte, maybe. Um, but they're not drying, which I do like about this. They're not like liquid lipsticks. They do provide a matte finish, but they're more of like a cream-like consistency. So I got the nude color, I got a really like pretty cherry red color, and then I got this beautiful, what would you call this, like a fuchsia color? It's like a deep fuchsia, I really really like this one. Okay, so the only thing I don't like about it is the scent. Oh god, it smells like cherry NyQuil. It doesn't smell right, and it's so strong. I don't know if it really smells like NyQuil, but it has like a cherry scent to it. It's so strong and so overpowering. But the good thing is once you put it on your lips, it doesn't linger. Um, so I will be using these. The scent does kind of put me off a little bit, but I think I can make it work. So those are the three colors I got. I'm sorry I don't know the names. They're just, oh, maybe they're, okay. I don't know if this is the name, but they're all different. So the fuchsia one is called Addiction, maybe. The red one says Love. And then the nude one says Seduction. So I will try to look these up, and if I can find the names, I will put them in the description box. Two more matte um, products, lippies that I got were by Maybelline. This is the Vivid Matte Liquid. I have not tried these yet, but I got two colors. I got the nude and the red. So the red is called Orange Shot. This is really pretty, I like that. And then the nude is called Nude Flush. So these two are pretty similar. And now that I was looking at it, I think the nude from the Revlon and the red from the Revlon are like pretty close dupes, just from looking at it in the tube. But I have not tried those, so um, I will keep you guys posted. So the last thing I got was by CoverGirl, and this was another lip product. This is called Oh Sugar, and I believe it's just a lip balm. It's a vitamin-infused balm, and the color is called Soda. So when you're looking at it in the tube, it looks like it's pink, but then when you open it, it's like a deep berry red color. I love the smell of this. This smells like a slight lemon scent and I really really like it. I'm gonna swatch this one for you um, because I was um, thinking it'd be super dark but when you put it on it is really like a balm. It's not um, too dark at all. I really like the color of this, especially if you're looking for something that you can just kind of throw on and not have to worry about it getting everywhere or things like that. This is super moisturizing and this just adds a hint of color to your lips. So there it is. I really like this one. So 
those were all of the things I picked up from the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be trying to do more drugstore videos out there. I am going to be doing a full face um, look on this, like a get ready with me video, and I used all drugstore stuff, so keep an eye out for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, any questions and comments are welcome. I will be answering those, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.